Moving on to something that will interest you. Now, the arts can be inspirational, but beyond expressions and entertainment, the arts also seem to possess some soothing powers. The BBC's Inkechi Ogbona tells the story of two Nigerians who are exploring the use of arts as therapy for mental illness. In this dark hall are people united by a common fate. Psychiatric patients seeking help to get back on their feet. They are a lucky few who have made it to a public hospital. A rare access to medical personnel and care that others with similar conditions may not have. Authorities in Nigeria have been criticized for inadequate medical personnel and equipment at public health centers. For those who couldn't access care, they end up on the streets like this. Cases like this may be extreme, but there are others battling to suppress stress and depression. Some artists believe that their drawings and creative expressions could be a source of healing. Nengi Omuku is a visual artist. I realize that there is so much happening outside of me and there's so much bigger than me that, that is happening in the world and with people and with people in Nigeria. So that's why I decided to start painting about a state of mind in general as opposed to just painting about my own problems. She volunteered in an experiment in the United Kingdom where art was used as therapy to mental illness. Nengi seeks to replicate this in Nigeria. We're adapting it in a way in the sense that we're going to renovate the building, not just paint, and looking for ways to raise money to help make the place habitable in the first place, and then repaint the wards and install, hopefully, museum quality art prints in the wards so that patients can go up to the arts and experience art as a, as a form of therapy. Kule Adewale is another firm believer in Nengi's cause. He runs a non-governmental organization called Tender Arts. He's been using arts as a form of therapy in different African countries for years. He has come to this psychiatric ward to lend a helping hand. As an artist, I try to look at how art can be used to uplift the spirit of people who are down, people who are depressed, using art as a refuge and um, using art to create safe space for people who have uh, mental illnesses and they're probably through that process and they can have the, the journey to recovery um, started. In a crime where mental illness is sometimes associated with spiritual or supernatural powers, Nengi and Kunle's idea seems to be a myth. I am presently at the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital in Yaba, Lagos, Nigeria, to find out if indeed there's a relationship between mental illness and arts as therapy. Dr. Mashudat Belumujid is a consultant psychiatrist at the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service Center at the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Lagos. It helps them to come out of the emotional issues faster. And for some that have mild form of the emotional problems, they may not even need medication depending on the severity because it's on a spectrum, the mental health problem. When it is still mild and relatively identified, and heart sessions and different artistic activities are setting, they may be able to come out of the blue. Her explanation cast a ray of hope on the possibility of using alternative medicine, especially art, to deal with mental illness. So you said you want brown color, right? Back in the classroom, Adewale's techniques seem to be working. Patients learn and create art to reflect their state of mind. We see patients being engaged um, in dance, in music, singing, and all of that, and then uh, it has been very therapeutic for them. It has brought hope, inspired them to aspire to become greater than the way they've been before. And there's only so much the government can do. So I think it takes individuals to look past that stigma 
and rally around and start figuring ways to make our community, our society, our mental health better. Advocates say more attention should be paid to alternative therapy to dealing with mental illness. Nkechi Obona, GIST Nigeria. Using us to heal the soul there. Fantastic. There's more to come here on GIST Nigeria. From the streets to the stage, the opera singer changing the perception of pidgin language. Stay with us.